Hello and welcome to WPT Power's Power Grip Assembly video. In this video we will show you how to assemble a typical WPT Power Power Grip clutch. What you see here is a typical Power Grip hub with WPT Power's patented extended teeth design. This is a good time to test that the center plates move freely on the hub. Please refer to the assembly drawing or the clutch manual for proper clearance. Shim quantity should be adjusted to meet clearance specifications. Please note that the use of Loctite 271 or equivalent is required in this step. Tighten bolts in a crisscross pattern. Refer to clutch manual for torque specifications. Place friction disc with the grooves facing outward. Wave springs are also available for easy installation and maintenance. Please consult WPT Power Applications Engineering before switching spring types. Temporary dowels may be inserted in the spring pocket through holes to assist in coil spring installation. In this step, please be sure to strike the pressure plate with a soft-sided mallet only. Evenly distribute the shims. Please note that shims may need to be removed or added in order to achieve proper clearance. Please refer to the manual for clearance specifications. Before tightening the air tube holding plate bolts, be sure the air tube is properly positioned and not pinched in the air tube holding plate. Tighten bolts in a crisscross pattern. Refer to the clutch manual for torque specifications. Please refer to the assembly drawing or the clutch manual for proper clearance. Shim quantity should be adjusted to meet clearance specifications. Once proper clearance has been achieved, remove half of the bolts and apply Loctite 242 or equivalent. Torque to specifications in the manual and then repeat. <laughs> 